pretty cool, right? Not really. Because this goddamn $10,000 piece of shit is falling apart. You don't believe me? Come see for yourself. So this monstrosity is the Pro-Aim 17-foot scissor jib. It moves back and forth. Problem is, all the parts holding it together are breaking out. When you're on the set and you zoom in for your shot and pieces start falling out, you're gonna be pretty pissed off. I'm not sure which one of you brainiacs over at Pro-Aim came up with the idea for aluminum bolts, but we're gonna show you a much better idea. I'm gonna push this on the side so we can start working on it and bring over the parts we need. So the Pro-Aim scissor head is about $3,000 and it's held together by these cheap aluminum bolts. And I'm not sure who thought of this idea, but it's pretty stupid. Of course, Mr. Dog Poop's blaming his employees for breaking the bolts. They're all broken. And I'm not talking about when we're using it. It just sits in the building and we come out and these are laying on the floor. These bolts literally just fall off while it's sitting in the corner. Now, while I want to blame Pro-Aim, I don't completely want to blame Pro-Aim because I have another jib that doesn't have the problem. So maybe this is a defective batch, or maybe I just got lucky and got the only crappy jib that Pro-Aim made. So for all the educated engineers in India that are building these things and designing them, this is called the shoulder bolt because they have a shoulder here and we can tighten something to it and maintain our distance here. It's 80 millimeters by metric size 10. With a small washer here and here, we can keep a guaranteed 80 millimeters of distance in here. So this is how they've connected it. They have a aluminum piece which is threaded on each end and then it threads together. The only thing stopping it from going on is the fact that it's an acorn nut and it can't go any further. There's no guarantee what the distance is gonna be here. And I don't understand who makes bolts out of aluminum. It's light. What good is it when it falls apart? I can't imagine taking this thing out, flying halfway across the country on a job site, and I try to film somebody and my jib's falling apart. Not good pro-aim, not good. Here's what you need. We got these from MSC, Manhattan Supply Company. So we're gonna reuse the washers. We need a, a washer here for the shoulder, that, and we're gonna use acorn nuts just to make it look pretty. That'll tighten up there so that's tight in there, but it'll still give us room for the jib to be able to move. I'm gonna go ahead and list all the ingredients you need to fix this thing in the description. You can see that we've already replaced several of these previously because they were falling out. You'll need to do all of them or you're gonna be really sorry. So if any of the bolts haven't broken out, you're gonna need two 17 millimeter sockets. Put one on each side and take it apart. Hopefully the bolt will be in one piece. Save the washers because we're going to reuse those. So we're just going to take our bolt, put the washer on the first side, put it in where the old one was, put the small washer on, put the big washer on, and the acorn nut. Using a five millimeter Allen wrench, hold the bolt on the back side with the Allen wrench and your half inch ratchet simply Tighten it down and you're done. Now, you're gonna have to do all of them because if you don't, they're gonna keep falling out. Now we just need to do it about 20 more times and we can actually do a review of this thing. And here's the best piece of advice of the day. Always take them out one at a time. Do not go and take them all out because this whole thing will fall apart and drop on the ground. And I know that because that's how we did our other one. I don't have the exact cost. I wanna say that it costs around $300 to $350 for stainless steel bolts, the washers, 
acorn nuts. You've already spent $10,000 on your rig. By the time you bought the head, the tripod, the cart, you start rigging it up with a Ronin and a camera, you're going over the top. Take your time, spend the $350, put the correct bolts in. I don't know why they don't do it when they make it, but it's wrong and it's gonna fall apart. It's just a matter of when. And now that you've completed all the bolts in the jib, don't you feel a lot better that your jib's not gonna fall apart on the job? So now that you know how to replace the bolts, check out our other video to actually see how this thing works. It's pretty cool. My maintenance guy figured out how to fix, let's see, I just, I'm trying to be Mr. Dog Poop and it's so fucking hard to explain something with 